can't believe you're actually thinking of moving out here. Well, we're selling the place. We have to make a decision. I don't see a lot of opportunity for lawyers out here. <laughs> there are other things to do, babe. Oh, yeah. And you'll be doing them with someone else. Well, maybe I'll find myself out here, you know? You really understand what you're made of in a place like this? Where have you been? I'm meeting with a guy who manages this place. Walter, he made an offer. And? Yeah, thinking about it. Well, what about us? Not to mention Regina. All I'm saying is that she's a grown woman now. You don't have to watch over her like She's my sister, babe. I thought you liked Regina. I do like Regina. But you need to shrink, not to spend more time with her brother. What do you know? She had a hard time. It was your experience, too, and you're all right? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm super. I know... It's not the same. I know that you have nightmares. But you don't jump at shadows like some kind of freak. Your dog is beautiful. Thanks. What's his name? Dakota. As in north or south? As in the Native American word for friend. Why don't you show me how you made that amazing shot? Why is everyone so crazy about how I hit that lucky shot? Jump in and I'll try to explain it to you. Their fathers played here, their grandfathers, not to mention their moms and grandmothers. And not one of those generations has ever sunk a hole in one of their team. But you did. why we're talking about this. Because you brought it up. Look. Let's not fight, okay? Damn, honey. That is awful. Thank you so much for getting up so early to be with us. I know as a writer, you're probably a night owl. No problem, Kathy. I'm happy to be here. Well, the line at the bookstores are around the corner. Tell me, what's your secret? I don't think I have a secret. I think people just like reading my stories. Right. She captures the heart and soul of her characters until they mirror the reflections of her readers. I think to respond to such a compliment would only take away from it. All I can tell you is that I write how I feel. The way one of my characters touches me, I touch them. When you write, are you sitting behind a typewriter, biting on a pencil, or banging your head against a wall? When I write, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in a different world. I'm in the world of my characters. Not anyone specific. They're just generalizations. Generalizations? Yes, my doctors are based on doctors. My policemen are based on policemen. Named author Randall Ciro has recently accused you of stealing his idea for your latest book. How do you respond to that? Well, Kathy, it's true. The once famed author, Randall Ciro, did make those accusations. And quite frankly, this thing happens to writers all the time. And I think it's just his way of getting publicity for his fading career. Well, Mr. Ciro's newest book just came out last week. Yes, his first one in five years. And no one's buying it, which would explain why he's using my success for his own selfish needs. Nice job, Eva. But did you have to slam Cyril like that? You came across as defensive, and that usually implies guilt. Listen, I told you I was going to respond if it came up. If you didn't like it, you should have done your job and made sure she didn't mention it. Eva, I did do my job, and I asked that she not bring it up. But she did her job. It's a talk show, you know? And you've got to expect some professional questions. Questions about Cyril are not professional. You know that he and I have had a past. What's this? This book is dedicated to my loving father. So? So? I didn't authorize this. I don't have a father. Then who was that guy who got your mother pregnant 25 years ago? A bloodsucker like all the other people in my life. I don't understand. Yeah, you never do, do you? Mm -hmm. 